everybody I know it's been a little bit of a while since I posted a video it has been an absolute mental few weeks as you can probably tell by my voice and we have been a little bit unwell in this house over the past couple of weeks um well the past week mainly we got struck down by Rona um so yeah we've been a little bit unwell so we haven't been doing anything there has been no work, there has been no school, um, everybody has just been in bed, taking it in turns to be in bed. We are all okay now, everybody, it is Monday, let me just figure out what date it is, I think it's the 12th of September. Um, everybody is well again, I am on the tail end of it, but I am well again. I am feeling a little tired, but I am better. <laughs> um... So yeah, there has been absolutely no eBay. So there's been no videos, no nothing to update you with. So I just haven't <laughs> really. Um, so yeah, th there's been nothing going on on my channel. So I do apologize for that. Um, and then the week before that was also chaotic. I did actually have a video filmed, but not edited, ready to explain to you about, or update you all about all my appointments and stuff. I never got around to editing it and then uh, if I don't edit a video like pretty soon after filming it then I never will um because it seems really unrelevant to me so I have to refilm them I know it sounds really stupid but I just I feel like it's too old a video and I won't deal with it so I'm gonna re re-update you about my appointments <laughs> rather than deal with that video it was very waffly anyway um so yeah i had what appointments did i have i had my cane appointment with my white cane and i had my appointment at birmingham for with my ophthalmologist about my eyes so yeah I'll, in this video i'll give you a quick update about both of those this is gonna just gonna be a vlog um i've got ebay work to do today like I said, we were all off work and school. My husband works at a school, so he's had the whole of summer off. He's been working at home, but he's had the whole of summer, summer? The whole of summer off school. Um, my kids went back literally for like less than a week and then had to have like a week off with COVID. Um, so yeah, he didn't even go back before he tested positive. So this is today is the first day of everybody being back at work and school so i need to be back to work today as well um i'm like i said i'm still feeling a little bit not so great um it messed with my head pressure quite dramatically which is what has really thrown me off um because i'm struggling a little bit with headaches which if you are new to the channel that is something that I really struggle with, like health wise. Um, I have really high pressure headaches, which is what has caused me to lose a lot of my vision. Um, and yeah, that COVID has really messed with my high pressure. Um, it, hopefully it'll balance out, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to get some eBay done today. I need to get to drafts. We've got stuff hanging up. We've got stuff in bags everywhere. I've got so much stuff that needs listing. So I'm going to get some drafts done. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to draft clothing today. Yeah. I've got a bag of parcels that needs going. It got packed yesterday. I don't know if I'm going to take those myself or whether my husband will take them. I'm not sure. Um, I have a coffee that I'm enjoying. Well, I actually haven't had a sip yet. Let's try it. Mm, yeah, it's good. It's good. I put some syrup in it. I treated myself. It's got some... Uh, I don't know what it is, actually. 
It's like a weird little squeezy, zero calorie, zero sugar nonsense um, in hazelnut praline, but it is actually quite nice. Usually I'm a proper syrup kind of girl. Well, actually, to be fair, usually I'm a black coffee, no sugar kind of girl in the morning, but I fancy something a little bit different. Is, is anybody else really excited that it's September? I know I completely cut off then, like complete tangent. I'm really excited about it being September. September is my favourite month. I, I absolutely love it. I love it being drizzly and rainy. I love lighting candles and having blankets and being cosy. I'm so excited. I love it being September. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling about the weather and actually get some work done. I will kind of like intermittent, intermittently, I don't know whether that's the right word, but I'm kind of like going to, I've lost the word that I need to use. I've got really bad brain fog, really bad brain fog. I'm not sure I'm ready to be back at work. I will pop in and out, there we go, I will pop in and out and keep you updated on what I'm doing. I don't know if there's any point in me filming, like literally sitting here drafting, because I'm going to be sat on the sofa with my laptop up, my ironing board in front of me, measuring clothes to input it into drafts. It's that glamorous with the TV on in the background to keep me company. Probably some of you guys on YouTube in the background. Um, and just to keep me company because it's a quiet house today and I'm not used to it. But yeah, I'll pop in and out. And then once I've done eBay for a couple of hours, I have a necklace that I really want to get finished. I've been working on a necklace whilst I've been in bed poorly, um, just to keep my brain busy. And I'd really like to get that finished today, but I might do that this evening. Um, so I'll probably show you guys that, how I get on, how I am getting on with that as well. So yeah, I will pop back later. And let you know how I'm getting on, and I will also let you update you on my appointments as well. many drafts as I wanted to to be honest with you but I keep finding myself like just staring off into space it's raining really bad <laughs> um excuse the state of my kitchen work surfaces I need to do some cleaning um it was uh there was no cleaning done whilst we were uh feeling unwell <laughs> So I'm going to do that now. Um, but yeah, I keep finding myself staring off into space and not doing anything. So yeah, that's a, that's a problem. So I need to I need to get some work done. Um, but yeah, probably only doing about five drafts. Now you're not going to hear me because of the kettle. <laughs> but I'm just going to quickly spray and wipe the kitchen sides down. Um, we have been like doing a little bit to maintain obviously a little bit of cleanliness but yeah we've, uh, last night was the first time I'd hoovered in like a week <laughs> um, and we have four fur babies so yeah it's not been pleasant it's not been a pleasant house but like I said we've all been very poorly <laughs> So it's been understandable. But yeah, I'm not. Oh, let's just, excuse me. Thank you. Um, do you mind? We've, uh, I've not done a huge amount of work. And it's about half 12, maybe even one o'clock. So I've got to, I've probably got about an hour. No, two, 
See, my brain's just not working. I've got really bad, like, brain fog. <laughs> Anybody else that has had Rona, <laughs> have you had really... I had it, obviously, 18 months ago, but because I was undergoing, like, brain surgery at the same time, I think my brain fog may have been because of that. Um, so I can't really give a very good... Um, it can't be a very reliable source as to what it was doing to me. But yeah, I'm really waffling, I'm sorry. I might even delete this part of the vlog. Actually, you know what, no, I'm going to keep this part of the vlog in because this is what it's done to my brain. I just can't even, I can't think straight. This is what my brain is doing. It's talking five million miles an hour to itself, but it's talking nothing. It's talking nonsense. The weather is absolutely disgusting today, but I love that. Um, apart from the fact that I've sent my five-year-old son to school with no coat because it's currently at his auntie's house. So the poor kid doesn't have a coat. My daughter's gone to school in a coat, but I didn't want to send him to school in his big puffy coat because it's too warm for that. But I probably will have to take that when I pick him up because otherwise he's going to get drenched. So yeah, I'm going to do probably a little bit more listing and then I'm gonna go on with the housework because what you can't see behind you is yes I may have cleaned this part of my kitchen side which now looks you know marginally better behind you is a lot of stuff stacked up ready to go into the dishwasher and I don't know whether the dishwasher is clean or dirty right now I haven't checked <laughs> I'm hoping fingers crossed for me, cross your fingers right now, that the dishwasher is almost empty and it is dirty. So all I've got to do is just fill it up. If it's full and it's clean, that means I've got to empty it all and then fill it up. And that's another job. Hi, doggy. Hi. 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 Come on then. Hi. Say hello. Say hello. This is Bear. And Bear is missing her daddy. Because it's daddy's first day back at work today. And she's a daddy's girl. Aren't you? Yes. You're a daddy's girl. And you don't like it when daddy's not here. No. You don't. No. She's a good girl though. Shaking for okay. She's a, a what? What? Whoa! Chill. She's a proper chill Oh, did you hear that? She was telling off my other dog. She wants to come up to me. <laughs> and this is Kia. Shut up. <laughs> this is my old girl. Hi, baby. This one's a mommy's girl, aren't you? Oh, yes. This one's your mommy's girl. This is my 10-year-old baby girl. My firstborn baby. Oh, yes, you're my firstborn baby, aren't you? And Bear's going to squeak and bark and growl now to get some attention because she doesn't like it when this one... They are best friends. You wouldn't think it. Bear just is a very vocal little chihuahua. And Kia just ignores her, don't you, babe? Yeah, I think Kia's feeling a bit under the weather today. She's not been herself. Look, I think she's feeling a bit sad today. What's up, baby? I'm feeling a little down. Hey, I'm feeling a little unwell. Yeah, you're very sleepy. Are you enjoying that the kids have gone back to school? Because all you've done is sleep. Are you enjoying the quiet? Oh, thank you so much for the kisses. I do love you. Bear, stop squeaking. Oh, thanks. You're so beautiful. Ah, the dishwasher is clean and full. So I need to empty it. Oh, look. Or I've cuddled Kia. I'm covered in floof. And I wasn't lying either, by the way. 
at the amount of stuff. When you're a family of five, I can't really say that because only four of us have been here this week because my husband's son has stopped at his mum's because obviously we all had Rona um, and we didn't want him to get it. But yeah, when you're a family of four slash five, it looks like this at least once a day. If you are also a family of four slash five and your house also looks like this at least once a day, please let me know so I don't feel so alone. Thank you. But yeah, now I have to, ooh, sorry. Now I have to empty said dishwasher and fill it up. almost <laughs> but it looks better than it did if only it was actually that easy hey i did one look at the state of me <laughs> one uh, i can't even speak i'm so out of breath <sighs> oh the cat the cat's just come to snuzzle me i have just done a tiny little bit of housework and it has killed me like I'm so out of breath. I think I need to take, try and take it easy. I mean, I have been taking it easy today. Really easy. I've just been sat down. But I thought when, whilst I did my coffee, I'd do a clean the kitchen. And all I've done is wipe the sides down, empty and fill the dishwasher, put some washing on and fill up the door dryer, which you can hear both of them whizzing around. My goodness me, I've got the, tumble dryer on and the washing machine on like whew. I best go and do some more listings because that's expensive I ain't even joking like that's expensive I need to go and get some work done to afford to have the tumble dryer on because these are towels that have gone in now so they need to go in the tumble dryer but yeah I'm so out of breath I think being short of breath is something that I'm going to have to get used to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and sit down and look at this. I don't even know what this hair is. I'm going to go and sit down and enjoy my coffee. Oh. Coffee number two of the day. This one is just a... I don't think I can show you without it spilling. Just a black coffee. Um, and drink some more water. Because I need to try and stay hydrated. Because I'm becoming a little bit of a raisin. As you can tell in my skin, my wrinkly, dry skin. So I'm gonna go and drink this, drink my water and get on with some more listings because like I said, I've probably only done about five or six. Hello, baby. Did you hear that? I don't think you did. You just did me a cute little meow. Would you like to be shown as well? Would you like to be in the video too? Oh, this is my handsome boy, Ted. Oh, it's your my handsome boy. He's my handsome green eyed boy. Oh, your boy, what handsome? He's such a handsome boy. He's such a handsome boy and he's such a baby. He is, he's such a gorgeous baby. You are, aren't you? You're such a gorgeous baby. Oh, he's got a Oh, what scared you? What made you jump? You don't look very happy. Ted's not, he's not huge about cuddles, are you? You'll tolerate them, but you're an independent man, aren't you? Yes, you're an independent man. Okay, okay. He likes to give cuddles on his own terms. He's still snuzzling my legs now, but he likes to cut you. Yeah, you do, don't you? Yes. I'm gonna go and get some work then. <laughs> Hello. It is now about half past six in the evening. I cannot remember when I last spoke to you but I think it was before I went and picked the kids up from school so it was quite a while ago um since then I haven't really done much other than I mean I did a few more drafts but not a huge amount I'll be honest um and then 
just spent a bit of time with the kids after school and then did like standard like cooked dinner um we had katsu chicken with rice and broccoli tonight but it wasn't like a posh one it was a quick one it was a microwave uncle ben's rice with it was like an an oven katsu chicken from like iceland and then let like, you squeeze the sauce over the top and put it back in for a bit and then some broccoli uh so yeah it's a bit of a quick dinner because i am exhausted i'm so tired i don't know what my what my hair's doing i'm in my pajamas now as well <laughs> um i think i've spilt dinner down them as well it says just peachy i had these when i went into hospital last year and they are massive and lovely and comfortable um but yeah my hair's meant to be up but half of it doesn't fit or I'll, I'll put it quite a high pony and half of it doesn't fit up there uh yeah i thought before i go i wanted to show you the bracelet <laughs> that i was making and quickly update you on the eye appointments like i said i was going to as well um so i thought i could do both at the same time <laughs> that's what i was going that's what i'm planning on doing anyway so uh, not bracelet it's necklace sorry so first i'm going to quickly show you how far i have got this is what i've done so far oh ignore the state of these like i painted these last week but like with making jewelry like especially wire jewelry they chip so bad and i didn't do a very good job of painting them because i can't really see them very well anymore i can't see my nails very well to paint them anymore so they i mean i can see them well enough to paint them but they're a bit messy not that it matters because you know they're my nails and if i can't really see them being messy does it really matter are they really messy if i can't really see them Anyway, <laughs> this is a chain necklace and it is made using, you'll see it better in a minute because I'm going to, like, I'm going to make a little bit more. Um, it's made using blue lace agate, obviously the blue, and these are clear quartz, like faceted clear quartz, and then wire wrapped, like, not wire wrap but like the wire is uh bent round so the plan is obviously it's not quite long enough yet but i want to make it into like a nice obviously i've got a necklace on at the minute but a nice chair i mean at the minute it just about goes round as a choker if i added a clasp it'd go round as a choker which to be fair is quite nice but that's not what I'm going for. Um, I'm making it a little longer. I'm not sure how long. Let me sit up a little bit. Straighten out. Sorry if there's dinner spilt down me. I put pyjamas on two, like two minutes before dinner and spilt stuff down me. I don't know whether to go, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Um, I don't know whether to, like what sort of length. I don't know whether to go for like that length. That might be a bit too long. Maybe I'll go for like here. Like the one that I'm wearing now. That is probably around about 45 to 50 centimetres. So I might maybe go around that length. Um, I'm just going to keep it a plain. Say plain. But I'm just going to keep it like just a chain. There's like a beaded chain. I'm not going to put any charms on it. Because I think the crystals speak for themselves. So I am going to carry on doing a little bit of this so you can watch me make this for a couple of minutes and as i am doing that i will fill you in on my eye appointments and then that is probably going to be it for the day to be fair i am probably going to sign off there because i'm not going to be doing anything else for the evening i'm going to put the kids to bed and then probably not be far behind myself because i'm still very very tired <laughs> and yeah I might do a little bit more eBay work, but it depends how tired I'm feeling. Okay, I hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, but I've not set it up like this before. I do do on TikTok lives, but I've not had it set up like this before. 
Um, right, so let's dive straight into how... I'm not going to talk to you how about how I make this because a lot of people aren't going to be interested. Um, if you are interested in how I make the jewellery, then just let me know and I might make some sort of content. But it's not it's, it's, it's not that kind of channel. Um, so yeah, I had a white cane training day. Training day. It's like I went out and did it. Um, I had a, like a white cane training session. It did actually go very, very well, and she left me with a white cane. Um, and I have actually been using that. Obviously, I've not been very well, so I didn't use it for... <laughs> I've not been using it for, like, the past week, but before then, I was using it. Um, so, yeah, and then I've used it when I've taken the kids out, like, to school today. I've used it. Um that was like quite nerve-wracking <laughs> using it on my own but at the same time like it's given me a sense of freedom <laughs> being able to use it out and about it's amazing being able to like walk around and not have to stare at my feet like being able to walk around and look in front of me is amazing <laughs> It was really scary at first, especially stairs. Like using it to walk down the stairs was really quite frightening because I was I was honestly thought I was gonna fall. Um so yeah, it made me feel a little bit sick going down the stairs. Sorry, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing or not. Um But yeah, I've been using that for the past it's been two weeks now, I think, really. But obviously the past week I've not really used it because I've not really been out. Um how am I getting on with it? Um, okay, I think. I, I think. Um, so, yeah, basically, I will have another three... Se no. Yeah, three sessions with her. I've been given one to practice with, which I will keep now indefinitely, I think, until I get my own. Um, so, I've been using that going out and about. I'm not really meant to use it on my own, but I have been doing it. Um, and then once I've had my three sessions with her, which are, I believe, there's one at the end of this month and then two at the beginning of October, because she's a very busy lady. She's lovely, but she's very busy. Once those are done, I will then get my own cane and I won't have to borrow that one anymore. This one's my uh, foster cane. Um, so, yeah that's exciting i like i say still very nervous about the whole thing but it's also given me a bit more of a sense of freedom like i went into a shop on my own the other day on my own i've not done that for ages i've been like a little hermit crab so to be able to go out and i'm on my own was uh quite something sorry i'm completely out of uh, <laughs> uh shot there it's because i'm trying to look at it i have to bring it so close to my face to be able to see what i'm doing that uh sorry focus i think that's done i would double check after i've uh there we go i've just attached a little clear quartz one so i used the wire to make the little loops and then i've just used a little jump ring to attach it um so yeah and then my next appointment was the what was it yeah, Birmingham. <laughs> that one, actually, to be quite honest, I was a little bit upset with. Um, because I'm adamant that my eyesight has got worse. Obviously, they're my eyes. I know them. <laughs> I'm, so I'm meant to have, like, a really decent <laughs> doctor that knows what he's doing. And I got transferred from Coventry to Birmingham because it was meant to be, like specifically for IIH and he was meant to be really really good and I loved the doctors in Coventry like they looked after me really really well like and I really miss them um but you know I thought yeah I, I'll, I'll transfer if that's the right thing for me to do and then I went into I went to Birmingham and like they did my field vision test 
and I was like okay this feels like something is different like it feels like I can barely see um and then I waited for ages literally for him to go oh yeah everything looks pretty stable um we'll see you in four to six months and I was like what and I feel like I, I felt a bit dismissed um and because I was I get like I get anxious um and I kind of got a bit I, I didn't really know what to say and I forgot what I needed to say I kind of need to sorry I've pulled that out of frame again um I kind of almost need to rehearse what I need to say before I go and see a doctor because I get really bad anxiety about it I don't know if anybody else is like that or whether it's just me being a bit of a weirdo but yeah I got I freaked and I didn't say the things I needed to say he did say that I can go and see somebody again if things get worse and obviously I will but yeah I feel like I was a bit dismissed and I need to keep an eye on things because my headaches have come back and I feel like my eyesight has got worse I feel like things are darker than what they were but obviously also the seasons are changing so things are going to be darker than what they were it's it's just one of those things but they didn't take any photos of my eyes like they always did in Coventry um they didn't even dilate my eyes he barely even looked in my eyes like they did one test you know they did one test and sent me home they haven't seen me for six months no four months sorry and they didn't even take a photo of my eye, of my optic nerves. And, like, they just said, yeah, it's stable. Like, how do they know it's stable by just one test? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but... Oh. I've just dropped that on the floor. I've just dropped that on the floor and I'm not going to be able to find it. Bear with me. Jeez. I found it. Didn't even take me that long. That was pure luck. Have I got the jump ring still? Oh, and the jump ring's still here. So yeah, that is how Birmingham went. Kind of a bit of a flop. But at least my cane training went well. I mean, maybe my eyesight hasn't got worse. Maybe it's all psychological because I'm getting a cane. Maybe I've told myself that my eyesight's got worse because I'm getting a cane. <laughs> but you know... I, I don't know so yeah um any more updates to share with you before i go i don't think so her etsy how is my etsy going now i'm here making jewelry um pretty well pretty well um oh i'm not sure if i've shared it with you guys yet uh it's been shared on instagram and facebook but i don't think it's been shared on here my jewelry is now being sold in a brick and mortar shop which is very exciting I'm sure a lot of you guys already follow Claire on Instagram. Uh, Hetty and Flo, beautiful little shop in Hindley. And I can't wait to be able to actually go there and see it for myself, actually. The shop is gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited about it. Some people, I've sent my first little shipment to her. And I'm very, very excited and I'm very, very grateful for Claire to be able to give me this opportunity and yeah I'm, I've not shared it with you guys actually um because in my last vlog I hadn't done it sorry I can't get this jump ring is really messing me about I think I'm gonna have to put a new jump ring on this one I can't see what I'm doing story of my life oh yeah that one's gone um so yeah that's that's a really exciting venture and my Etsy is just plodding along. I've not been able to do much to it this week, to be fair. I've not listed on it at all this week because I've been so poorly. <laughs> and when I haven't been poorly, I've been looking after poorlies. So I've barely listed on eBay either. So I'm just going to plod on making this this evening. Maybe do a bit more eBay. Finish making, well, hopefully finish making this because I want to get it done so I can get this listed. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do a few more like chain style it doesn't usually take i mean it takes me a while to make this kind of thing because obviously i'm limited vision 
Um, so what it would take some people like 10 minutes to do would take me maybe half an hour to do. So bear that in mind when you look at my prices. <laughs> um, I do try and keep things as cheap as possible, but I've got to try and pay myself a wage. Like obviously I've got eBay as well, so I try not to think about that too much because this is a hobby for me. But I think maybe I need to up my prices a little bit because of how long it takes me to do this. But let's try and get this on and then I'm going to... It's because I'm not concentrating because I'm chatting. I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's, I think that's done. But yeah, like that, I've only done two there and it's taken me like, what, 10 minutes? It just doesn't, <laughs> and maybe it's even taken me 15 minutes, but there you go. I've got two extra ones. So yeah, here's a better look at how, what it looks like. I love blue lace. I've got some pink opal, very similar shape. Please ignore my nails. Very similar shape to the blue lace that I can't wait to use. And I'm going to use that in this kind of uh, chain as well. Look really nice in an anklet. Somebody ordered a custom anklet made with blue lace and it looked beautiful. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. But I will update you on, well, it'll be updated on my Instagram, on the Lunar Neptune Instagram and on the Facebook. So make sure you are following them if you want to see what it looks like when it is done. So that's it. I'm going to sign off for now. I'm too tired. <laughs> I'm, my voice is hurting. I need, I need a cup of tea. I'm going to put the kids to bed. And then I think I'm going to be pretty close behind. If you did enjoy the video, as always, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here and you haven't already hit subscribe, please do consider it if you enjoyed this content. And have a great week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.